For those of you who didn't meet me last night, I'm Wing Commander Lee Winton. I'm the CEO of 381. Whether it's going to be a surprise to you or not, you guys are all attached under my command and control for the duration of this exercise. 250 members of the 381 Expeditionary Combat Support Squadron muster at the staging point for a mission briefing. All facets of the Air Force are represented, from plumbers and electricians to airfield defence guards and engineers. Our mission is to go in, activate a base to IOC within 24 hours and then to FOC within 36 hours. There will be times where you will be sleep deprived. There will be times where there is pressures on you. Try to maintain your sense of humour, OK, and work through it. It's about us getting together as sister squadrons within CSG and actually setting up an airfield within 36 hours. Thank you for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. After the mission overview, the task is broken down for each individual unit by Flight Lieutenant Dan Hamilton. FNG, test all the generators, establish power within CAAU headquarters. It is imperative that every member of the team knows their role. To demonstrate our mantra of anytime, anywhere, we picked a remote spot on this map um, and we're going to go there and set up our airfield in 36 hours. And the road that we're coming up on um, is not an easy road. It's going to be a significant challenge for the squadron to actually get up there, but uh, something we're going to achieve. As soon as the briefing is over, the Airfield Defence Guards, the Air Force's highly trained ground troops, prepare to enter the area of operation. They check and double check their equipment, as once they leave the staging point, they're on their own. Our priority is to make sure that the area is clear for us to be able to operate. So before our other elements, our logistic elements, support elements arrive, we need to ensure that this area is, uh, is secure. In a hostile situation, these guys are first on the ground. Convoy clear to proceed. With the area secure, the convoy back at the staging point can now get underway. S4, the convoy is ready to roll. Over. CCP, Ops, convoy clear to proceed. You're good to go now. Um, I'm Flight Lieutenant Shivani Maharaj. I am the S4, also the logistics officer. My job here is to resupply, sustain, and ensure that everyone has everything that they need. Just a few hours after the briefing, and 47 fully loaded trucks are on the road. In such a remote location, they need to be totally self-sufficient, which means transporting rations, tents and water for 250 troops, as well as 32,000 litres of diesel and all the hardware required to prepare the airfield. Yeah, when we get there, um, try and unload as quick as possible. And depending on how many forklifts we have and drivers, depends on how quick you can unload um, the trucks. As soon as you get to the area, it is just go, go, go. We support at short notice and we're ready to go anywhere they want us to go. That's what you're trained for. At the end of a long and arduous journey, all 47 trucks have arrived and been accounted for. Now the real work begins. Establishing an airfield fit to land a C-17 Globemaster. 